Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about cortisol, where we will discuss serum cortisol test, urine cortisol test, and saliva cortisol test. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. So, the main learning objectives we will be discussing in this video are What is cortisol? Production of cortisol Functions of cortisol Indications of cortisol test Serum cortisol test and timing Cortisol urine test from 24-hour urine collection And cortisol saliva test Let's discuss this one by one Cortisol is a steroid hormone produced by the adrenal glands which are located on top of the kidneys. Cortisol is called by different other names that is glucocorticoid hormone which comes under glucocorticoid class of hormones. Cortisol is often referred to as stress hormone because its production increases in response to stress. When cortisol is used as a medication, it is known as hydrocortisone. Let's discuss how cortisol is produced. The process begins in the hypothalamus, a region of the brain. When the hypothalamus detects a need for cortisol, such as a response to stress, or as part of the body's natural daily rhythm, it releases corticotrophin releasing hormone that is CRH. CRH stimulates the pituitary gland to release adenocorticotropic hormone ACTH. Now this adenocorticotropic hormone travels through the bloodstream to the adrenal glands. ACTH stimulates the adrenal cortex to produce cortisol. And this is how cortisol is produced. So cortisol is controlled by the hypothalamus of the brain, the pituitary gland, and the adrenal gland. And this is called the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Here comes the functions of cortisol. Cortisol helps in the functions like responding to stress. Cortisol is released in response to stress, helping the body cope with and adapt to stressful situations. Next function is immune system regulation. Here, cortisol helps regulate the immune system by suppressing the inflammation and immune responses. Next is regulation of blood sugar level. Cortisol plays a role in regulating the blood sugar levels by promoting the release of glucose into the bloodstream. Next, cortisol helps to maintain blood pressure by influencing blood vessel constriction and dilation. Next function is to reduce inflammation. Here, cortisol helps to reduce inflammation in the body by suppressing the immune system's inflammatory response. Next function is regulate metabolism. Cortisol helps to regulate the metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, ensuring a steady supply of energy. Next is indications for doing cortisol test. Cortisol test is used to help diagnose disorders of the adrenal gland, mainly to evaluate the function of the adrenal glands and their ability to produce cortisol in response to stress. Cortisol test helps to diagnose adrenal gland disorders like adrenal insufficiency, that is Addison's disease, which is characterized by low level of cortisol, adrenal tumors, and Cushing syndrome, characterized by high level of cortisol. Next, let's discuss serum cortisol test. The timing for serum cortisol test. The cortisol test timing is very important because cortisol levels vary throughout the day in a pattern known as the diurnal rhythm. Typically, cortisol levels are highest in the morning upon waking up and gradually decrease throughout the day, reaching their lowest point late at night. 
Sometimes random cortisol tests may be performed without regards to the time of the day in certain situations. This may be done in emergency situations or in an evaluating acute adrenal insufficiency. Now comes the timing to perform the cortisol test. Cortisol levels are highest in the morning and gradually fall during the day reaching their lowest point around midnight as discussed before. And hence, the morning time is between 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. and the normal level ranges between 10 to 20 microgram per deciliter and the evening time to collect is 4 p.m. where the level ranges between 3 to 10 microgram per deciliter. Some of the nursing considerations before collecting the sample is to follow the instructions provided by the physician. This may include avoiding certain medications, fasting, or any specific time for collecting the sample. Next comes cortisol urine test out of 24 hour urine collection. A cortisol urine test is sometimes performed to measure the amount of cortisol excreted in a 24 hour period. This test is called a 24 hour urine cortisol test. Some of the nursing considerations for collecting the 24 hours urine sample are specific containers are used to collect the sample for the patients. If a patient is on Foley catheter, empty the urine drainage bag into the 24-hour urine sample container in a frequent interval for 24 hours. If a patient is self-widening, ask the patient to use urinal for widening 24 hours and it should be emptied in the 24-hour urine sample container. Next comes cortisol saliva test, which is performed using swab stick. A cortisol saliva test is a diagnostic test that measures the level of cortisol in the saliva. This is a non-invasive procedure and it is a convenient method for assessing cortisol levels. Here comes the procedure of collection. Identify and explain the procedure to the patient. Wash hands and wear appropriate PPE. Make sure that the patient have not taken food, drink, or brush teeth for the last 15 to 30 minutes. Put the swab in the mouth. Roll the swab in the mouth for about 2 minutes so it can get covered in saliva. Do not touch the tip of the swab stick. Place the swab stick into the container. Label the container and send the sample to the lab. So, so far we have discussed about cortisol, how it is produced, its main functions, how cortisol level is diagnosed in blood, saliva, and urine, and why is cortisol test indicated. Some of the key points include, cortisol test is used to help diagnose disorders of the adrenal gland such as Cushing syndrome which indicate high cortisol level and Addison disease which indicate low cortisol level. So here you go with cortisol and the cortisol test. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it, and subscribe it, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.